Good morning. It's July 4th, 2022. And obviously it's a special day because it's July 4th. It's, uh, it's also a special day because it's been 18 years since I've left the army. And I actually left the army on July 4th and 2004. So it's another reason why the 4th of July is always a really good day for me because uh, I spent 18 good years in the army. Uh, it's been 18 years since I've been in the army, but I remember that day that I got out very fondly because it was my first day of independence after having spent so much time in the army. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to go for a walk and actually a run. Good morning. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> so, uh, plan on running about three miles today, hopefully. If I don't get too hot, it's about 86 degrees right now. And uh, as my wife says, who by the way is getting ready for the afternoon festivities. She's really a great wife and really takes care of us uh, in all ways. And that's just one of the many ways that she takes care of us. So she, as she's getting ready, I'm going to go for a run here. And uh, of course, do this vlog. And hello. And uh, anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, what's been going on with me here in the last week? Well, really, not a whole lot. I've been wanting to get out here and run, but uh, and I'll do another uh, vlog. But it's just been so hot. And unless you get up like really early in the morning, uh, it's temperature has just been too extreme here the last week to, to do anything in late mornings or you know in the evening so that's one reason why I haven't uh, done another episode uh, or another entry into my vlog the other things that's been going on is really just been watching everything that's been happening in the world lately it's just incredible that you know some of the things that are happening in Europe are actually taking place it's just totally unbelievable it's you know I mentioned the army it's <laughs> incredible that we have additional countries joining NATO or even the fact that we need a NATO here it just doesn't make any sense how people could cause wars and even have a need for these alliances like NATO but nevertheless it's amazing that here it is in 2022, we still have a need for countries feeling like they have to establish uh, an alliance so that they're protected against aggressors. So I've been pretty amazed with that, of course, as everyone else has been. Uh, other things that have been going on, uh, been working on the website uh, that I've been volunteering on. I volunteer on this poetry website where poets can publish their poetry for other people around the world that read and had to upgrade the servers because it's been gosh it's been about almost 15 years since I've upgraded the servers to the newest system that the hosting provider actually has so I upgraded it uh, this week so that Hopefully we've got another 15 years of good instances where we don't have to worry about the server going down or having an outdated server. So that's that's something that I took care of. And of course been working, really enjoy that. I think I've got the best job in the world. This is the, the first position I've ever had where I've got to exclusively be a product manager and that is just a great job. I, I can't tell you how, how much fun I've had and how much fun it's been just collaborating with all the various uh, people, that, stakeholders that are associated with the products that I oversee. It's just been a real joy and really in my career, it's been the best job I've ever had. So I really appreciate that. And of course, just been marveling over the things that have been happening in the AI realm these natural language processors and these language models 
are just incredible. You know, one of the fantasy things that I think about is, is that at some point in the future, the researchers are promising that these AI systems, similar to the current natural language processors, will be able to take things like this video blog, ingest it, and recreate for posterity purposes uh, <laughs> just a likeness of the person that is in the video. So hopefully one of the things that my ancestors will be able to do is watch these videos, load them into these futuristic AI systems, and then create a likeness of me, if they're so interested in doing, uh, that they can converse with. But why they would want to waste their time talking to a virtual me is <laughs> probably something that's never going to happen. So, but anyway, in case they ever had a desire to do that, this will be there uh, as one of the things that they can actually feed into the system so that they have some more material to create a virtual me. Which, you know, kind of makes me think about this uh, other website that I've created called LegacySpace.com and Legacy Space is really right now just a, a website where people can upload images and put uh, blog posts about themselves to record their legacy. Not a lot of people using it right now but I see in the future that there actually could be a lot of utility for these natural language processors that I've just uh, talked about for legacy space. So instead of people using legacy space to upload their photos and text about them, maybe I can leverage that domain name and the whole concept legacy and a legacy space to uh, get ready for these futuristic AI systems that can recreate the likeness of someone. Uh, right now, there's just not a lot of interest in the way that it's currently implemented. So it's just something I've been kicking around. Well, wow, isn't it a beautiful morning? All right. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I just want to do a little walk around here so everyone can see this. And uh, until the next entry, who knows, maybe it'll be tomorrow or maybe it'll be next week or so. Uh, have a great day and great 4th of July and great week. Okay, I finished my run. Instead of going three miles, I went about, I don't know, maybe two and a half miles. The time that I ran was 24 minutes. So I'm guessing that's right around two and a half miles. Real feel right now is 93, temperature is 89. Just couldn't go any further. So I was running in the shade. It's kind of shady right now too on this walk, which is really nice. There's a, uh, a nice cool breeze blowing just a great time to go running but once the temperature got up and you know to the above 92 i could feel it like i couldn't go any further really safely so i just decided to go ahead and start walking just keep it safe being 58 no reason to hurt myself so but i was as i was running i was thinking in the uh, previous segment of this particular blog that I mentioned that my ancestors would potentially run this video and feed it into their virtual person creation system, this futuristic AI. Well, of course, my ancestors would not be using a future futuristic system since they've all either living now or have since passed. However, one interesting thought is, is that if in the future I or someone else is running an ancestral simulation and in that simulation they gave my ancestors access to all future videos on YouTube and potentially access to virtual future people, then hey, maybe my ancestors could actually use this video 
in that scenario where a ancestral simulation was being run about my former ancestors. Just a thought. So, well, that's pretty much it for this block. Uh, assuming that it was recording the entire time. See, it appears to have been. And uh, starting to, wind starting to pick up, so I'm sure I don't sound too great right now. So, until the next one, signing off.